11 years after the deaths of five sailors in the mysterious sinking of French trawler Bugled Breeze off Cornwall, their families have launched a final appeal in court. Relatives believe the fishing boat was dragged underwater when a submarine became snagged in its nets. But that theory was ruled out and the case was dismissed last year. The Advocate General called on the appeal court in Rennes to confirm that the case was closed. The case was adjourned for further deliberation until May. The bugled breeze went down in broad daylight in relatively calm seas on January 15, 2004, off the Lizard in Cornwall, in southwest England. In the years that followed, the families have sought to find out what led to the sinking. In 2007, it emerged that traces of titanium had been found on the boat's cables, a substance sometimes found on the hulls of submarines. The following year, an inquiry in the Breton town of Campere ruled that the submarine theory was the most serious as a day before the sinking, NATO military exercises had taken place in the area. But allegations that a Royal Navy submarine, HMS Turbulent, was involved have since been discounted and French maritime investigators said the bugled Brises cables had probably snagged on a sand bank. After years of legal wrangling, the case was eventually thrown out by a court in Nantes in 2014. A lawyer for the families described Tuesday's appeal as make or break. Christian Burgett said he would ask the appeal court in Rennes to reopen the inquiry, based on allegations that a U.S. submarine had been in the area at the time. Thierry Lemaitre, whose father died in the sinking, told French media that he would continue to fight for justice. First for my father, but for all the fishermen, too, who have one of the most dangerous jobs in the world, he said.